Welcome back guys to Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask with Tattle on our case as soon as the episode starts. Come on, what are you doing? You can ask Jim about the secret route to the observatory. Whoa, look at the time, you don't even have three days left. We still have three days, we were given three days, we still have three days. And we can also partake in a mini game. Of course, the mini game we saw at the end of last episode can now be our new, well, object of desire. Apart from, let's find out the code from Jim. We hold down B, we can get ourselves a bubble. Aiming it, however, might be a bit of a trouble. Surely, however, I can Z-target the balloon, maybe. Nope. Oh, well, let's fire the big bubble at the balloon. What's up, Jim? Your balloon's gone. Are you the one who just popped that up there? Not bad for a Deku scrub. We bummers have a hideout that leads to the observatory outside town. You need a code to get in. Maybe I'll tell you what it is. But don't think you're getting it that easily. I can't just tell you what the code is. You'll have to pass my test first. Oh, a test. Are you ready? Yes, sure. Even though our skills at a Deku scrub are not exactly polished. All right, line up, guys. Oh, lots of blue hatted guys. If you can find all five of us by tomorrow morning, I'll teach you the code. Are you ready? By tomorrow morning? We shouldn't have wasted any time. Right, so it looks like... Ooh, hot piece up there, but... I say that. I don't even know if we can climb this for a start. Right, we're in trouble. Oh, there's one straight away. Do we have to catch you? We found you. Ah, oh, you caught me. Now there are only four left. Okay, we got one already. That's good. We can't go that way, so we'll just go the ways that we've been herded. I can see the hard piece I wanted so badly. Chase down the others with our spin. I think our spin makes us move a little bit faster. Right, we can see... Oh, no, that, that's, that's your normal guy. Right. We're looking for the blue hatted version of him. Hey, hey, kid. Kid, don't you go stealing cuckoos to run away. It's not going to work. I'm not going to accidentally hit the chicken either. Oi, kid. Cornered. Ah, you caught me. Now there are only three left. Wasn't there one right in front of me then? No, there's... Oh, there's another one right here. He was under the box all along. I can see you there. Ah, you caught me. Now there are only two. Great, we've already got two. Right. What's up, Tattle? Oh, why do we have to play these stupid brass little games? Come on, hurry up and find them already. Only 12.44 left until morning. Ah, we've got a timer for everything. We've already caught two. This isn't going badly. There has to be a kid around here somewhere. Ominous bells are ominous. Hmm. Deku scrub launching pads. Wait, wait, hang on. What's up, guy? You're carrying something, so you must have some goods. Okay, these these ones are obviously selling spots. This is my private property. Don't try using it when I'm not around. Oh, what? I've already sold out of my wares, and the carnival hasn't even begun. I'm thinking of closing up shops so I can buy a gift for my wife and return to her in my village. I've heard that a stone called the moon's tear shines brighter than any ever in the land. If you've got one, I'd really like to get it from you. My wife would love it. If you give it to me, I'll give you my spot here, Deku Flower included. So we need to get ourselves hold of a Moon's Tear, which is obviously something we do not currently have, and the Hylian Shield, by the way, is not the Hylian Shield, it's the Hero Shield. Completely different, completely separate, we only have Deku Nuts. Do you have one? No! You're a Deku Scrub, so you know just how convenient a Deku Flower can be. If you don't hurry up, give it to another Deku Scrub, the early Scrub gets the nuts. We've already used 12 hours. This is not going well. Right. Let's find these kids. There's a song I remember. Hello. La la la. They said I was too loud when I practiced in my room. Practice anywhere you want. The Song of Storms is the most epic song ever. They got mad, sigh, now I'm sad. I'll just stay here all night and away from their pad. And you are a child, so you must go to bed. Oh, cheers, mate. 
Any other childs hiding around? Childs. Any other children hanging around? I know you're a frog and you're riveting everywhere. You're not what we're looking for. We're looking for kids. We've only got God knows how many hours left. We're running out of time. None in the laundry pool. Right. There's none up on high. God, guys, stop worrying about me. Hello, dog. Ow, dog. What was that for? You're not in here, are you? Hey, mask guy, have you seen someone around? <laughs> Why, hello, did you find that little imp? You can get back to, I know we can get back there, we'll get it back soon. I'm looking for kids. Did a kid come down here? This place is more green than I remember it last time. Right, there's no children over here. At least we don't use time down here, it seems. No clock meter running, so that's good. And where is these kids? Where are they? There's another entrance to go through, another whole section of town, but there must be someone in this gigantic section itself. No? No one around at all? Well, that's a bit odd, I think. We'll enter a new section entirely with a naked man? Oh no, that's crazy dancing ladies that are in leotards or whatnot. There's definitely a bomber as well, though. Come here! Ah, oh, you caught me! Now there's only one left. Who's that who started playing the crazy music at the time and it was crackly and everything? Must be those ladies. Right, hello, guy. We can't stop to talk. We only have till morning. We travel at the fastest... Oh, that comes out there. Okay. No, leave me alone, dog. Dog, leave me alone. I do not want to be eaten. I'm a deacon scrub. I know. Don't eat me. And that comes out here. We're missing one. One guy, and I'm guessing he's not in any shops or the whatnot. The treasure chest shop's over here. That's nice to know, and it's crazy disco going on, but this isn't where we need to be. So in my imagination, we've been literally everywhere at this point in time. We saw the kid up there, we saw a kid down there. We should be sorted for this section, at the very least. Hey, do you know where they hide? Kid, we need some help here. If you want to pass through here, you have to say the secret code we know. We don't know the code yet. Wrong. We're going to nab the kids. We're going to get that code. But in the meantime, it's getting kind of irritating to find some of this sign. Bomber's Weekly News, a special review of the Bomber's Notebooks. You too can master it. So you got troubled individuals on lending ear. A record of all the troubled people you meet will be kept in your notebook schedule. People are shown in the left column, and their schedule appears in the adjacent row. Blue bars show people's schedules, and when notable events occur, something will happen at the time shown. An exclamation mark is added to your notebook when you make a promise or appointment. Be sure to confirm what you need to do. Don't lose heart if you fail to fulfill a promise. Just check your notebook and try again. When you're thanked for easing someone's trouble, take note. By helping someone out, you'll receive a happiness seal. Try to please everyone. I need to please myself at the moment, though. Where are these kids? These terrible, troublemaking kids. We found ourselves Honey and Darling Shop at Gaming Center changing daily. Still not what we're after. It'd be nice if there was like a, a really obvious guy is round here kind of sign on the marker. Like hiding in a corner behind one of them or... Where is this kid? It's night time. Don't bite me. No, bad dog. Did we go the northern route? I think I went left, didn't I? So we actually haven't checked out this whole section up here. Unless that is the starting section, which I think it actually is. Which means we've been everywhere and we haven't found them yet. Oh man, I didn't think you'd come over here. 
Oh man, I didn't think you'd come over here either. They all say the same thing. No one's giving up the clue that we need. Where is the last bomber? Can't be in with a fairy. We can't have long left either, according to Tassel, I'm sure. This fairy fountain is too accessible. Oh, bombers, where art thou? I can't find you all. Ooh. Ouch, watch out! Stop, thief! Give the old lady her luggage back! Attack! Or you! How am I supposed to stop you? I can do anything but capture him! I can't shoot him. The A spin didn't get him. Oh my, and I thought we would finally be able to stock bomb bags on our score. What a shame. Well, that's a way to get bomb bags, but we're going to need to obviously be non decoy at the time. Ah, oh, there you are. We found you. Ah, oh, no way you finally got me. They weren't spread out much around town. I thought they'd be spread out a bit more. You're pretty good for a deco scrub. If only you were human. Then I could give you an original bomber's notebook and make you a member. What do you guys think? No way, no scrubs. Okay. I guess not. Once we let some kid who wasn't human join our gang and boy, do we ever regret it. Sorry. But I'll teach you the code, just like I promised. I can tell you only once though, so pay attention. Are you ready? Oh, here we go. This is annoying. 52143. Five two one four three. Five two one four three. Let's remember that code as much as we can. Five two one four three. Uh, I might have to keep repeating this because it's a general no memory thing. Unless I'm getting things messed up. Five one two four three. Uh oh, I'm second guessing myself. Five one two four three. No! I messed it up already! See, look at this bad memory! It's obviously... How did I manage to mess that up so badly? I instantly... This is how bad my memory is, by the way. Oh, that's right! If you know the code, then you're a member, right? Okay, here you go! I messed it up! How can you forget something you've just seen? Well, that is how. There's a lot of cool stuff at that telescope guy's place. Oh, yeah, and, um... The Bomber's Secret Society of Justice Forever! Yes, cool. We're gonna go see your secret society place. Ballerina spins and bad memory abound. Let's go! Spin to win! It's like playing League of Legends. Wait a sec. I drown in here? I thought that water wasn't exactly that deep, but oh well, it seems to be a lot deeper than previously looked like. Right, let's make our way across. La la! Lovely little pom skipping routine he does. Can I shoot you with a bubble to kill you? Oh, just bounced off. What? You don't even know about the sculpture? It's protected by a hard shell, but his stomach is soft. We know about these guys, they scare me senseless. Oh, nasty attack! Of course, we have to get closer than we really want to get. But a bubble to the back side. Works quite well. I wonder how the astronomer knows the Skull Kid. Whoa, look at the time. We don't even have three days left. We know we don't have three days left. You keep mentioning that fact over and over and there is yet another balloon. In the meantime, there's also magic jars. Maybe a couple of rupees as well. So we can do mini games. I forgot about the mini game that we were supposed to be doing and then I walked away. Whoops. Oh well. Fire! It's amazing how good that little bubble is for destroying a massive balloon. It packs some magic punch, that's for sure. We've made it through! Hello, dancing scarecrow friend! Excuse me while I steal all your money first. 
place has some crazy music to it. Yo, hey, baby! I'm a stunning scarecrow wandering in search of pleasant music. Time will pass in the blink of an eye if you dance with me. If you like, baby, we can get the time and dance till dawn. Shall we dance? No. I'm sorry, that's too bad. In that case, come back anytime if you do do the time you want to dance. By the way, I know a mysterious song that allows you to manipulate the flow of time. Do you want to learn it? Yes. Oh yeah, now listen up. If you play that strange song backward, you can slow the flow of time. And if you play each note twice in a row, you can move a half day forward through time. How's that? Pretty interesting, isn't it? But I'm sure I'd like any song written by you better, baby. If you like, you can play one for me. On what? Let's head up and see the astronomer and not get caught underneath. Just kill the jar! No, we can't. Very, very colourful up here, that's for sure. This is an astronomer's place, you got to be kidding. Evil Bell. Yeah, well, well, a strange looking child has joined me today. Well, I can't actually see you because I'm stuck behind this pillar. Camera angles for the win. Are you a new friend of the Bobber's gang? Hmm, your manners seem much better than those of your mischievous friend from the other day. <laughs> that ill mannered troublemaker from the other day said he'd break my instruments. He said he's still my moon's tear. There was no stopping him. Even now, just watch him. He's probably causing trouble around the clock tower. Will you gaze into the telescope? We will indeed. Around the clock tower, you say? Well, where's the clock tower in general? Oh, hello! Now there's one creepy looking... Oh god, what's falling from the moon? Just outside of this place, in fact. And now he's patting his bum like we can definitely see him and he knows it. Well, did you find that troublemaker and that loud noise? What was that? I don't know what's happened with the aspect ratio of my video. Perhaps another moon's tears fall nearby. Go for that door and take a look outside. But I wonder how that troublemaker got on top of the clock tower. The only way up there is through the clock door and that opens only on the eve of the carnival. Seems like after taking the camera angle, the game glitched just a little bit. Dawn of the second day, 48 hours remain. That was insane. How did our spin get all messed up there? Was it because our time was running low? Something's fallen outside. Let's go take a look. And pick up. A moon's tear! Its sparkling beauty radiates rather strangely. And now, of course, that's payment. With a Deku Sprout. Maybe we can get up on high. Hello, clock guy. Okay, you make weird noises now, don't you? It's like my heart is being peered right into. That's a disturbing eye. And when we hit it, it very much reflects in a very irritating fashion. We're into our second day now. We get to see a little bit of what's outside with the rain coming down. The land that we have to explore. Right then, Astral Observatory. We're not going to use your telescope again, I'm telling you that. You did some weird things to this game. Thankfully, the dawn of the second day saved us. Right, so now we have a moon's tear. We should be able to use that. To get up and chase the Skull Kid. We need to get on top of the tower by the look of it. Uh, camera angles, go! Dodge the evil spider. If he's even respawned. Tassel, what's up? I only remember that Deku scrub with one in the moon's tier. Don't tell me you forgot. I remember! Whoa, look at the time! We don't even have two days left! You said something new! Hooray! We have hope for you yet. One big jump coming. Yes, nicely done. And some redfish as well, and some really weird clock designs on the walls. So we enter Clock Town yet again. Not allowed out in the real world just yet, the rain coming down. 
And the moon getting ever bigger in the sky. Ominous. With that, I say farewell for this episode, guys. Tune in next time for more Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. I'll see you. Bye-bye.